We've come down to Austin, Texas to see Toyota's latest vehicle, the CHR. It's their entry into the B segment crossover market. Now, Austin being a center for food and music, Toyota wants to show off that this is just no other juke joint, that it's something special. They've made some other interesting choices along the way. Do they work? That's what we're going to find out here today on rumblestrip.net and 10 minute test drive. So the chief engineer spent some time talking about all the miles they put on this around the Nürburgring and around the Nürburgring, in search of James May jokes right here. Um, but that aside, you can tell that this was developed in Europe by the ride quality and by the driving dynamics. It's very controlled. It's not overly soft. Um, it's very communicative. It feels connected is the is the correct term for this it just feels connected now the steering we wish it had a little more weight to it but in general it's good this is a this is an electric steering and if you were to drive a car from 10 years ago with hydraulic steering a good car with hydraulic steering uh, and drive this you wouldn't necessarily know that this is electric steering so well done to toyota for that because it doesn't feel artificial the cabin is relatively quiet. There is some road noise that comes through, but we're driving here in Austin and there is a lot of texture to some of these roads. So we'll, uh, we'll cut it some slack there because there's a lot of cars that would have a lot of noise come through. On some smoother roads, it seems good, um, but not enough time in the car to really tell. I mean, we've put uh, between us and our drive partner maybe 100 miles on this car today. and. Yes, you can come up with some quick conclusions, but when you live with something day to day, that'll tell more. You'll, you'll need to kind of drive in your own environment to, to find out. But all in all, not bad. Um, this is front drive only, not really a big deal. Some people will say, oh, I need all wheel drive. You really don't, you just need good tires. No hybrid is available in the US. It's available in Europe, but not in the US. And we think that's a miss. There's a huge opportunity for this thing to have a bigger uh, bump in fuel economy. Now, Toyota will say, well, we couldn't offer the value at that point because this is a twenty-two to $24,000 vehicle. And I get that. But I think for the extra two grand, maybe 2,500, that it's a missed opportunity. So the interior of the CHR is actually very good. Styling wise, there are a lot of cues actually from the Lexus IS in the hood here and then how the center console sweeps and where the uh, display is up here as well. Now this is the seven inch display. You've seen that in the Toyota IM, the Toyota 86, and a couple others. Uh, no nav in it, uh, there's no Sirius satellite, but given the market for who this car is for, probably not an issue. A lot of things have moved uh, to the center 4.2 inch display. You'll control your drive modes, uh, your radar cruise control is all in there as well. Materials in here are very good, especially given the price range. Nice soft touch materials, very little hard plastic. It is here on the center console, but given that one of the main engineers for this car was six foot three, um, you don't find yourself banging your knee up against it and that being uncomfortable. Driving position is very good. A lot of subtle little details in here as well. There's the diamond marks up here in the ceiling, which hopefully we can get in a photograph to roll in for you as well. Cargo capacity is not bad. When you first open the hatch, it looks a little small, but when you fold that back seat down, it's pretty good. The funny thing that the Toyota people pointed out is they put 768 cans of Red Bull uh, in the back with the back seat folded down and it, they didn't have to stack it so you couldn't see out the back. Now, do you need to carry seven of that many uh, Red Bulls? Probably not, but it's kind of a funny fact along the way. Overall, again, for this price, very good interior. Backseat room in this is actually decent. Um, we adjusted this actually for, say, a six foot tall person. 
and was able to get in and out of the back without any problems. There's actually a good amount of headroom in the back, so given the styling, you think maybe that would be compromised, but it's not. Overall, the Toyota CHR is a very good package. We like the styling. Uh, the fit and finish are exactly what you'd expect from Toyota. And given the price range of twenty-two dollars to $24,000 on it, the interior materials are very good. They almost exceed our expectations for what you'd expect in this price range. The driving dynamics are very good. You can tell it's very heavily European influenced in the way that it rides and it drives. Steering is very spot on and very direct. Could be, you know, a little heavier weighted, but that's a particular thing. There are some disappointments along the way, fuel economy being the primary, primary one. Now, it's front drive only, and there's no hybrid option if those things matter to you. But overall, this is very good value for money, and Toyota's probably gonna sell a lot of these.